Okay, hello, welcome to another Ben Golding guitar class. Today we're going to have a look at the Wham! and George Michael classic Last Christmas from way back in the 80s. Okay, this is probably one of the most straightforward, simple tunes you could hope to learn. And we're just going to use four chords for this one. We've got D, B minor, E minor, and A major. Okay, it's a great song, and those are the only chords in the whole piece. It just uses two bars, or eight counts of each chord, and it repeats that right through the whole song, the verses and the choruses. Okay, so if you know those chords already, get off and give it a try, and you'll find it fits in with the song. If not, let's just go through very, very quickly, just to give you the chords first. Okay, so D major, we've got our first finger on the second fret on the third string. The next finger goes on the bottom on the first string in the second fret again. And then the third finger goes on the second string in the third fret. There's your D major. And with that one, we're trying to just hit the first, second, third, and fourth strings. We're trying to avoid the two strings at the top there, the five and the six. So there's your D major. Okay, the next one we're going to do is the B minor. B minor that I'm going to use is first finger on the first string in the second fret. The next finger goes on the second string in the third fret. The third finger goes on the fourth string on the fourth fret. And the little finger goes right underneath that on the third string, fourth fret as well. Okay, there's your B minor. And if you're starting out, you might find that one a little bit tricky. People don't usually like the B minor when they're starting, but it's not too bad. Okay, nice easy one. The third chord is E minor. Uh, basically that one, just second fret, fifth string on the second fret, and the fourth string on the second fret. And with that one, we're trying to hit all the strings on that one. So D is the four strings at the bottom, B minor, four strings on the bottom, E minor, all the strings. And then the fourth chord is A major. So again, if you don't already know this one, should be quite an easy one to remember. You put your first finger on the second fret on the fourth string. The next finger goes right underneath that on the second fret, third string. And the next finger goes right underneath that on the second string in the second fret. Okay, so there's your A major. And with the A major, we're trying to avoid the string at the top, the sixth string, but you hit all the other five. Okay, and like I said, just does that the whole way through the song, eight counts or two bars on each chord. So you've got your D major, B minor, E minor, and A major. Okay, so let's just go very, very slowly. And if you are starting out, if you get the hang of those chords, you might want to stop this video and go and practice them a few times over. But if you're comfortable with them, let's just run through a few times. Like I said, eight strums per chord. We'll just try it together a few times. Always best if you start off slowly and then build up speed, try and get the chord changes first if you're just beginning, yeah? So eight counts, starting with a D major. So we've got D, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, to B minor. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, E minor. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, A major. Two, three, four, five, six. Let's just try it one more time, maybe a little bit slower. So you've got D, one, two. Minor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. E minor. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A major. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Those are the only chords in the whole song. So let's just go through, just to give you an idea, you'll have to excuse the singing, but if we go through, I'm going to hum the melody, sing the tune a little bit for you on top, so you'll probably get a good idea of how the melody sits on top of those chords. So from the beginning, you've got your D. Once bitten and twice shy. B minor. I keep my distance, you still catch my... E minor. Uh, tell me, baby, do you recognize me? A. Well, the day it doesn't surprise me. Back 
like today. Happy Christmas. I wrapped it up, I sent it be minor with a note saying I loved you, I meant it be minor. Now I know what a fool I've been, I major, but if you kiss me now, you'd fool me again. And then the chorus back to D. Last Christmas, I gave you my heart, be minor. Very next day, you gave it away, E minor. This year, to save me from tears, I, I'll give it to someone special, special. One more chorus. Last Christmas, I gave you my heart, B minor. The very next day, you gave it away, E minor. But this year, to save me from tears, I major give it to someone special, special. Okay, that's the entire song the whole way through. What you might find, if you do run a video or an MP3 and you play along with the George Michael Wan version, very, very slightly what is called between keys, probably due to the recording process when they did the song. It's very slightly off the D, but it's not any other key. It's just incredibly slightly out. But the closest you can get to this, you get this in some songs, but the closest you can get this is D, B minor, E minor, and A. Okay, so try it along, give it a try, build up a bit of speed on those chords, and keep practicing. Take care. See you next time.